Good morning, guys. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know what it is for you. But today marks day one of the water pump and thermostat replacement project on the BMW 335i 2011 N55 motor. Just wanted to give you all those specs in case you're new to the channel so that you guys are aware of what we're working on. So I just got the parts in the other day. I ordered the water pump and thermostat replacement kit from FCP Euro. It comes with a gallon of coolant, BMW specific. It comes with all the aluminum bolts that we're gonna need to replace because you can't reuse the aluminum bolts. It comes with the water pump and the thermostat. I believe that's it, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up right now because I need to get access to those bolts so that I can go to Harbor Freight and buy the right tools that I'm gonna need to take those bolts out of the car. So let's get into unboxing mode. I hear liquid, it's probably coolant. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, so I'm gonna just go ahead and open it up. Okay, so what do we got here? Nice. This is the thermostat. I'm curious to see what it looks like. So there it is. It just looks like an overly complicated housing for a very simple thermostat. Yeah, so it just looks like a regular old thermostat inside of a complicated housing. So here's box number two. Wow, this is actually packaged super cool. Can you guys see this? It like presents it to you when you open it. I do appreciate that packaging though, that was pretty cool. This is not the authentic, genuine BMW part. However, if you look, Right here, you can see that the BMW logo and like other BMW insignia was literally just grind, it just was like grinded off of here, like laser blasted off of here. All right, well that's the parts. I'm going to go to Harbor Freight, get the tools I need so that a day or two from now I can get started. And these are, I believe that these bolts are called E-Torx bolts. Made in Germany, baby. Let's go to Harbor Freight. Welcome to spring in Chicago. It is April 15th today, and this this is what we get. So due to the weather, I'm gonna make the sensible call and not drive on these bald ass tires in this Turbo Civic right now. And I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight tomorrow. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Hello, and welcome to tomorrow. So as you can see, the snow is still melting. I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight now, like I said. However, God, I hate that I have to say this, but I have to go to class first. It is brutal, it is accounting. I am not looking forward to it, and I'm also running very, very late. Wow, guys. I cannot even tell you how much I hate accounting. It is literally the worst class ever. Welcome back to day three of this video, everybody. Today, we are finally gonna be doing the water pump. I know I've made you guys wait. So as you can see behind me, I already have the car up on jack stands. Kern Dog's here. What's up, gang? She's gonna be helping me out a little bit today by handing me tools and stuff while I'm under the car. I don't think you're really dressed to go under a car. So yeah, car's already jacked up. I already took the shroud underneath it off. This part comes off pretty easily. There's just a bunch of um, seven and eight millimeter Bolts, I think they should all be eight mil, but for some reason a lot of mine were seven mil. So that comes off nice and easy. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the sway bar from underneath, drop it down, so that I can have easier access to the water pump and the things in there. Also, also I've been seeing in all the videos, there's a power steering bracket right here that I have to undo so that I can move this hose out of the way. So this hose has to come out of the way, and this sway bar up here has to come out of the way. Hey guys. <laughs> Is it, is it going? Can you see me okay? Since I talked to you last, I dropped the sway bar, I dropped that bracket, and I also got a coolant hose off. Oh, you want this? Yeah. I got this coolant hose off right here. Um, to give you guys a frame of reference, I am on the passenger side of the vehicle, looking towards the rear driver's side. So right here is the first hose that you need to remove for the water pump. Once this hose is removed, it's going to piss coolant everywhere. Get ready. Also, I unplugged this clip. This is the electrical connector for the water pump. So that's out. My next task, I'm up here removing this coolant hose. Should technically come off right now. It should be able to come off, but I don't know. I'm, I'm working on it. I'll update you guys when I get to the next step. Okay, guys. <sighs> 
it has been hours. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've done harder jobs than that. I'd also like to apologize for filming without a shirt on. I realize that like 99.8% of my audience is male. Sorry, it's really, really warm out. I'm sweating a lot. So here's what happened. Got the water pump and thermostat in. Bled the system. And I was letting the car run for a little while to build up pressure. And guess what happened? One of the thermostat hoses popped off. <laughs> I'm sitting in the car and I hear pop, and then I hear all of this water rushing out of the system. That was brutal. There's coolant all over my driveway. Check it out. So I put the hose back on, fixed that, but now I'm out of coolant. So I have to go to BMW and buy some coolant, which sucks. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll be right back. All right, boys, I'm back. And the car is redoing the bleed procedure right now. It should be done in about three or four minutes. And then I'm going to make sure that everything is fine. I'm gonna let it warm up in the driveway, get up to running temp, see if that hose pops off again. If it does, then we got problems. If it doesn't, then we're good. Then we go car wash, get the underbody washed, clean off that thing, cause that's gross. And then I gotta go to my mom's house and then I wanna come back here and if it's still daylight, put that underbody tray back on. If it's not daylight, then I'll have to do it tomorrow probably i don't know why i always do this where i just like kind of stop filming a video and then it ends there wasn't really much else going on in this video i basically finished the water pump so far it's been almost a week and it's still working really well so no issues yet and honestly like to be honest with you guys i know i just said it in the video but like this wasn't the hardest job I've ever done. When I was researching this job online and watching YouTube videos, some people were saying like, might not even be a DIY. Like it, it's really difficult. It's such a difficult job. And I don't know, I don't know whether or not that was actually like a difficult job or if the people that are saying it's difficult are just kind of like BMW owners that don't really work on their own cars a lot. I don't, I don't really know. But a lot of people online were saying it was really difficult really wasn't too hard. It's very low clearance, so thankfully I have very skinny hands and very long fingers, so I can reach things that people who have short stubby fingers and fat hands wouldn't be able to reach. And yeah, I'm, I'm wearing a robe right now. It's super comfy. My mom got it for me for Christmas. Check this baby out. She's soft. Oh, and that, that was my phone that just went off, not yours. So yeah, if you are thinking about doing this water pump or doing the water pump on your BMW electric water pump, thermostat, that situation. I recommend picking up a kit that comes with everything that you're gonna need so you don't have to piece the parts together. It just makes it a lot easier. It all shows up at your door, you install it. Dude, you gotta stop farting, bro. It smells. And just do your research before you start and it's really not that bad of a job. Do I recommend it for someone who just learned how to change their oil? No. Do I recommend it for someone who's been wrenching on cars for a while? Yeah, it's really, it's not bad. So that's really all I have to say for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please, as I always say, click that thumbs up. If you just like this video, it is what it is. And as I always say, boys, please click that subscribe button first off. 2,500 subs and we are making merch. I'm very excited about that. And remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals and live the dream, baby. Bye.